it seems like there is another paradigm shift happening. We are using tools in ways that we hadn't before. So I'm really interested to how we change what it means to be human. AI tech is really evolving very fast. We need to know more about it, to gain the knowledge, and I think doing it as a community is really helping us. We want to really understand what are the needs for people from the Global South, because many of the papers that are about medical doctors or about developers are conducted in the Global North. I think AI to Amplify has been really good. I felt like this fellowship involved everyone and I had an opportunity to interact with someone where I'm going to learn something new and give an expertise from my point of view. Das Goethe-Institut ist das offizielle Kulturinstitut der Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Wir haben 158 Institute in 98 Ländern. Mein Name ist Stefanie Kastner, ich leite den Bereich 21 Bibliotheken. Wir haben 800 Bewerbungen bekommen und die waren so divers, wie wir es noch nie vorher in einem Projekt hatten. Mein Name ist Alexandra Stang, ich bin Referentin im Bereich Bibliotheken am Goethe-Institut in der Zentrale in München. Man muss diese Thematiken eben global betrachten, um, um möglichst alle auch mit einbeziehen zu können und in diesen Projekten Minderheiten stärken wollen, neue Perspektiven in die Entwicklung von KI reinbringen wollen. Projekte wie das hier wird von hier gesteuert, aber es sind 30 Institute auch im Ausland daran beteiligt. Das ist auch was, was wir immer mehr, glaube ich, machen, dass wir uns untereinander vernetzen und nicht jedes Institut für sich alleine arbeitet. Wir vernetzen die Menschen, die sich sonst auch nicht kennengelernt hätten, die Produkte oder, oder Projekte zusammen entwickeln, die sonst nicht zustande kämen in dieser Konstellation. They are providing a lot of information and they're connecting us as a, in, as a bunch of individuals with different backgrounds uh, and then they're like, okay, have conversations. And what comes out of that conversation could then be an art project, could be an application, could be a platform, could be a framework. And I think that's beautiful because then, you know, you could really see what a group of human beings from different backgrounds could come up with. We are already living in a generation where we are having these questions about races and genders and different ethnicities and inclusiveness a lot more. But then artificial intelligence brings all of that to the surface. It really, like the name of the program is AI to Amplify, but I feel like artificial intelligence amplifies all of these topics that we will have to grapple with. Beatrice. I'm 31 years old, working and living in Luxembourg. I recently finished my PhD and I work as a researcher between the hospital and the University of Luxembourg. For me, AI, it's a great opportunity to use a new technology that I'm sure is going to impact all the areas that we know, from healthcare to administration to the way we do politics and do our life. A project. It's healthy AI and the idea is that we want something that is useful for health but at the same time we want our models to be healthy. We have a multidisciplinary and also multicultural uh, team. We have people from Europe, Africa, Asia and South America and we also have a broad range of uh, expertise. I think it's very diverse which is very important to have if you want to tackle such a complex problem from the right angle. My name is Jessica Huelgas. I'm from Mexico City. We decided together to start in our countries 
to spread the things that we learn in the UT Institute AI to Amplify project. I invite like 18 people. They are studying medicine, they are student engineer in physics and biomedics. Well, the current activity is together to build a magazine, a digital magazine. So we want to expand the knowledge and we want to be creative and to share this knowledge. We want to understand more the public health sector in our regions and then just then we can in the future build this algorithm that where we started in the AI to Amplify. My name is Seyno Bufai. I am a five-year student at DAOS and I am learning computer science. I'm trying also to enter the entrepreneurship domain and I have my own startup that will be helping women during their pregnancy journey. So we did telemedicine solution that will help them during their pregnancy so that they can talk to a doctor wherever the, posi the geographical position of the doctor is. Also, we are digitalizing the Carnet de Santé. Carnet de Santé is basically medical records of the pregnant woman. AI tech it does require diversity. We could be more important in that field because we got the humanity. I think women also got that little touch, they can bring some, something that was not in the field before. And they are very hardworking, which counts a lot more. <laughs> My name is Meli Mansu for short and I work with the Goethe Institute Library in Accra, Ghana and what kind of projects I work on, we do literature, we do information services, we want to try to harness the, the interest in STEM. For me, I didn't really know so much in the AI ecosystem and I realized that we had a lot of them. So they are really small, small and they know themselves. Africa is the is at the most impactful to this new technology, especially with AI. We talk about healthcare. We don't have good infrastructures that can serve all African countries. But if we can bring the last mile delivery and bring telemedicine, bring AI into the edge where we don't necessarily have to build infrastructures. And that's why I believe in AI, because AI has the power, or emerging technologies has the power to help us really frog really fast. For me, AI to Amplify is just giving them the, the next platform to say, okay, this is what we have realized that we don't have in the AI ecosystem here in Ghana and be like, okay, we are able to contribute something. Yeah, it's also all into the decolonizing the internet. We are trying to like put ourselves there, make our own stories, tell our own stories. And I think this is a, it's a way, it's a start, yes. Wir sind jetzt in Johannesburg. Der Grund dafür ist das Fakogisi Festival, ein Festival für digitale Innovation. Das war ein Projekt, das sie gerne mit aufgenommen haben und auch uns super platziert haben. Die Presse hat auch Interesse hier, also man merkt, das ist schon ein Thema, das sehr wichtig ist. My name is Leonard Francis Vibi and I'm originally from Sierra Leone and studying at MIT. There's been a lot of divide and bias towards communities in Africa when it comes to access and use of technology. And Fakugusa is definitely trying to bridge this gap and produce authentic local 
Digita uh, product and services built by Africans for Africans, and that's really exciting. As soon as we started the conversations with the Goethe Institute, I was actually amazed because knowing that we're dealing with this huge shift coming with AI, yet I think that the discourse around it is very weak and flat. Uh, and what I was so interested about AI to Amplify was that the discourse was at the level that I was interested in engaging in, which is we need to harness this moment in history where AI is going to shift things a lot and say we will gain a lot from AI that shouldn't be capital expansion, it should be making our lives better, making it more creative, and making us more social as humans. Wir hatten viele Treffen online, auch in den Teams dann unter sich nochmal. Wir hatten eine Weiterbildung online und den Hackathon. Die Teilnehmenden treffen sich hier zum ersten Mal in, in echt quasi. Heute Nachmittag werden wir zum Beispiel eine Paneldiskussion haben zu unserem Projekt und zum Thema gemeinwohlorientierte KI und werden da auch die Projekte präsentieren. My name is Susan Otieno, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm a lawyer by profession. And now you see a, a lot of conversation around low-resource AI systems. How can we create within our context where we don't have that much or we're not really part of the global conversation? And so I think it's really about collaboration, but from the point of understanding that we are in a different context. We might not be building uh, AI at the moment, but we are in a position to add value and to build insight because of our context. When you bring those people together, I think you're always bound to have things that will surprise you, things that you've never seen before. And I, I think that's also something that Fakugesi really stands for, is bringing people of various different cultures and different abilities together to find new solutions to things that we didn't even know were solvable through technology. So I'm Federica Screti and I'm 26 and I'm from Sermoneta, a little town in Italy. Uh, I'm a computational linguist, so I work in the AI field as a language expert. So yeah, the program completely fulfilled my expectations. We come from very different parts of the world and that's really nice, but also challenging because when we would like to meet and like have a Zoom call, we should take into account all the different time zones and sometimes it's not that easy. I was hoping to gather as much information as possible concerning the latest uh, researches involving AI, so this whole AI for social good, what are the current challenges, what are the industries as well as people working in academia doing to address these issues. I'm glad to be part of the program and I think that I can use what I got from the program for my future work.
My name is Ankit Tripathi. I am from India and currently we are in Brno, Czech Republic where I am pursuing my Masters of Open Informatics. The final product will be in the form of an application. Okay, The application will receive the sounds through its microphone that is already inbuilt in it and it will convert those sounds with, through the AI model and it will alert the user through the vibrations that what is happening around them. And this idea is heck of a thing. This idea works on a problem. This idea gives a solution rather than enhancing you. It solves a problem and that's what is needed. And it got stuck with me. So I, I just mailed Marianne, please, I want to work with you. Please, I want to work with you because I know how to, to implement that. It will be a relatively easy application. But the impact that it will create will be on 80 million deaf community people. Die ausgewählten Projekte haben alle Chancen, weiterzukommen, sich weiterzuentwickeln und auch auf den Markt zu kommen. Es gibt ganz konkrete Projekte und solche, die noch mehr auf einer Ideenbasis sind. Erfolg wird sich verschieden darstellen. Es wird vielleicht auch Produkte geben, die wirklich kommerziell erfolgreich werden können. Es wird aber auch welche geben, die in der lokalen Community Erfolg haben, die Leute zusammenbringen, die Menschen helfen. It will just be an ongoing struggle with every layer of complexity added to our societies, which includes technologies like artificial intelligence. We would have to just have this back and forth. And a lot of people who are in this AI to Amplify Fellowship try to fight these momentums that are created by the, by the inventors of the technologies, by the Google, by the Microsofts. So the hope comes from these little pockets of criticism and pockets of fighting back and pockets of recreating what it means to deal with artificial intelligence. Natürlich haben wir inhaltlich auch wahnsinnig dazugelernt, wie funktioniert KI, welche ethischen Fragen gibt es. Goethe selber ist auf einem sehr spannenden Weg, diskutiert ganz fleißig, wo in unserer internen Verwaltung wir KI einsetzen können. This project is a projection that I am a stronger woman and I can bring more to my society and to myself and to my family. Thank you.